How's it going everybody, Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video is going to be running through the installation process of Ubuntu Server. This is going to be a very simple and basic installation video, not going through any uh, specific use cases here, just your uh, basic installation. So of course, uh, this is the first thing you're going to see, Linux Server. Um, for the first time for the installation media. <coughs> Select your language that you want to use. In my case is going to be English. Then I'm going to continue without updating. Uh, we can run updates on everything that we need to do later. So continue without updating. Again, this is your layout for your keyboard. Uh, again, I'm English, so I'm going to hit done. Uh, we're going to leave this as default. The server installation, uh, no need to minimize or anything. So, we can hit done on that. It's, it's going to assign us an IP address real quick. There we go. And then we're going to hit done on that. We do not need a proxy address. So, I'm just going to hit done. This is okay as well for the mirror address. This is setting up your hard drives. Uh, most use cases, uh, you're going to just leave this as default. Again, I'm not going through any specific uh, setup cases here, so most of these settings are just going to be left as default. Enter. Then again, this is just the hard drive file summary on you know for Ubuntu. You set up different sizes for whatever drives that you plan on using. Again, I'm leaving everything here as default, so we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to hit done. On this as well. By the way, uh, real quick, uh, that I forgot to mention, in order to uh, move around here, we're going to be using the keyboard. We're not using a mouse in this instance. So we're just using a keyboard. We're either hitting tab or using the arrow keys on the keyboard. So this warning message is just warning you that it's going to format the drives and uh, it's going to set everything up for Linux in that case. So your name, we're just going to put my name in here. Server name, we'll just name this uh, Linux YouTube server. You can name it whatever you want, of course. Then you're going to pick a username for yourself. You're going to pick a password for yourself. Type that password again. You're going to tap through all these. Tap again to get to done here at the bottom. And then hit enter. We are going to want to do SSH. Um, this way we can access our server remotely. In order to select that, you just hit the uh, space bar on your keyboard. And I'll select it. You can leave that as a blank for the GitHub one. And then I'm just going to hit done on that. All this stuff. Um, again, I'm not going through any setup for any specific use cases here. Uh, more than likely, I mean, you can have it install whatever you want, but we can also install this stuff later on as well. We don't have to install it now. So in my case, I'm just going to hit done. It's going to run through this real quick. And uh, once, it's get, once it gets done, it's going to ask us to reboot. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I will come back. All right, now that we are a little bit into the installation, um, it is now running some updates. Uh, you can cancel the update and reboot now. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to let it run its update. And then this is going to change to just reboot. So I'm going to pause the video again. And when we get there, I will be back. Alrighty, now it's ready for us to reboot. So we'll hit tab, arrow down to reboot now, and then hit enter. So in our case, uh, I am running this on a virtual machine here to show you guys. So it did not mount the CD-ROM drive just because there is no CD-ROM drive. So we're just going to hit enter, and I'll pass that. Now it's rebooting. Done, just like that. So now we can uh, we can log in for an example here. And then as you can see, uh, we're running the Ubuntu 22.04.1 LTS. So, um, if I want to grab the IP address, because I don't remember what it was, I need to do sudo apt 
install net dash tools will do minus y then the pseudo password will be the password you use when you uh, made your account during the installation and then boom it's installed all right now i can do if config and then i'm gonna grab this ip address which is my local ip address here the, the um, one six eight eleven. So we're gonna SSH SSH into the server. So in order to do that, I'm going to open up a command prompt, and we are going to SSH into the server real quick. So we're going to SSH solution at one and two dot one six eight dot one one dot one three three. It's going to ask if I want to accept the fingerprints. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to do the password. Boom. Now we are SSH'd into the server on um, command prompt. You can use whatever software you want. If you prefer putty, you can also run putty as well. Command prompt for me is just easiest and convenient. So uh, first thing you typically want to do when you... Uh, have a fresh install the server. This is what I do at least. So I'm gonna run sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. I'm gonna do minus y so we don't have to uh, go through any prompts. It skips all the prompts, automatically says yes for us. I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna ask us for a sudo password. Enter again. And we're gonna let it run this update. All right, now that the update is done, it's just going to give it a default list of uh, services to restart here. It's going to hit OK on that. And we're going to go. So everything's updated. You can type in clear to clear your console here so it's nice and clean. And that's it, guys. I mean, that's a super basic, easy installation of how to set up your Ubuntu server. Uh, and then from here, you can go on and do whatever you want with it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.